with an FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a four and defeat to Hampton Richmond. Adam, your thoughts following that? Oh, yeah, obviously very disappointed. Disappointed for all the supporters that have took the time and effort to, to travel up, and rightly so. They're, they're critical of of the performance. Um, but yeah, I thought first half, you know, we, we was good. Um, got the ball in the final third. Lots of crosses. I think the keepers made two unbelievable saves uh, first half. Um, one from Jesse shot, and then a header from Molly. Um, you know, and then. Uh, Rocco's made one good save, so I think we had the better of it first half, and then we just honestly just didn't start second half. Um, you know, I've got to take a bit of criticism for that, um, how the boys have come out. Generally, I think after half time we've come out and done quite well, but you know, we definitely didn't today. We didn't start for the first 10 minutes, and um, yeah, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of uh, mistakes, a lot of passes going astray, and um, yeah, they just got a bit of momentum, obviously got their goal, and it lifted them, G'd them up and you know it's uh, the old saying and it goals uh, change games and that was definitely the case today. Yeah I totally agree, I thought the first half was a really good performance, maybe just lacking a little bit of killer edge in the box with some of the crosses coming in. But yeah yeah, that's, that's said and done though, I thought um, the keepers made two good saves as well so you know it's, uh, it, it's just disappointing, a um, little bit of killing edge like you say maybe, uh, I thought there's crosses coming in but you know we don't look like getting on the end of them, same as Saturday really, um, I thought Saturday uh, similar, we've got lots of entries into the box and no one looking to get on the end of it so you now we've got to look at some crossing and finishing maybe and you know, that was a message from, from Saturday to get more players in the box and attack the middle of the goal um, you know, but you know, we didn't quite do that again today um, but yeah, listen, I'll, I'll look at it, analyse and, and see myself you know, how um, you know, I think I've let the team down today in terms of shape, like second half we were just all at sea, but I think a little bit of that comes as well, where you're chasing the game and you know you want to stay in it. You get you get back to two one um, with about ten minutes to go, is it? Um, and feel you can go and, and get something from the game. Um, but yeah, it didn't didn't quite transpire that way. And um, yeah, I think we'll look at the goals against and um, look at ourselves. And there's a, a few mistakes in there as well. Juan Luca did seem to make a difference when he came on. Contributed quite heavily to that goal. So there is that. What yeah, he done. He done really well when he came on in terms of that bit of play. And then I think he tried about three cross field passes that all get intercepted. I think the fourth goal he's tried to shield it and then got brushed off it and it's gone down the other end and, and we conceded. And it was a little bit of that, um, you know, mistake that led to. A mistake that led to a mistake. Um, you know, you just can't afford to do it. And you've got to look at our, uh, as a group, our, our character and our mentality and our hunger. Um, I thought it was excellent to get Bath. They come in and they was completely up for it. And you know, for whatever reason, go a goal behind. And you know, you need you need some leaders out on the pitch. And uh, I think we lack that a little bit. Bath and Yeovil you say big character performances. And not maybe not so much tonight. Away from home. It's been a little bit of a pattern of late. You've seen a lot of goals away. What do you think's been different away from home compared to? Um, honestly, don't know. Honestly, don't know. Like away form generally, like since I've been manager, has been quite good. Um, teams try to open up on us, and it seems to suit us. Uh, nice big pitches. There's no thought of the pitches. Thought it was the best time to come and play here. We all come and you know, we're really happy with what the surface looked like. A bit of zip on it, and you know, we just we were careless. We we're careless, and um, like I say, I think. Um, too, too many of us, and including myself tonight, just showed a bit of naivety and we were just all at sea. We are chasing the game and you know, still feel that we've got enough to, to get us back into it. But um, yeah, uh, another game where I think um, box to box, brilliant. But ultimately, you don't defend properly in your box and you can't put things away in their box. It's going to um, really matter and uh, it's another game where that happens. Changed the conversation a little bit. Uh, the signing of Glenn Ray was announced today. Obviously, a pretty big deal for the club. A guy coming down from such a high level. Can you just talk to us a little bit about the signing of Glenn? How that's all come about? No, yeah, just um, moved back to the area. Um, wanted to come training. Come training. Seemed to enjoy training. Obviously, I don't think he's going to enjoy playing that team today. But um, you know, we've. Yeah, lucky to, to have a signing of that ilk. Um, come and join us for a bit and. Um, yeah, with Aaron being out, you know, he's, he's a bit of a presence, he, he can win headers and he's um, missing today, I think he's made uh, a bit of a difference in terms of that side of it, um, although the 4-1 the scoreline won't show that, but um, yeah, definitely more to come from Glenn and know our sort of patterns and how we work and how we want to play, um, you know, it'd be, be a good addition, but um, 
yeah, uh, all in all, like, just come away really disappointed for everybody, um, the supporters, and you know, it's the third game, like you say, now away from home, we conceded four goals. So, you know, like I said, we didn't get too high when we was winning games, we're not going to get too low now, but there's loads for us to work on, and I felt it when we was, was nicking, uh, nicking wins, and, um, you know, we've got to really show up and turn up at Bath on Saturday night.